Welcome to another ServiceNow Tips and Tricks. I'm Oscar Lopez and this time I'm going to show you how to create a new type of change request call urgent. Now you may have your reasons in not to implement this type of change and just use emergency but I've seen some customers asking for it. So what are urgent changes? These are unplanned changes which are not break fix but have sufficient business urgency to not wait the normal lead time. In other words, it's kind of a normal change to implement it as soon as possible. Essentially, it would follow the same process as the normal change but will be adapted to emergency situations. In order to create this new type of change, urgent, we need to create few things and modify others. First, we need to add a new answer in the change interceptor. Then we need to add a new change type called urgent in the type field. Then we need to create a custom chain request state model. Then add this new urgent change in the chain request state handler and finally copy or clone the normal chain request workflow. So let's go and edit the interceptor. If I click in the create new, I get the interceptor for chain request with the three out of the box options, normal, standard, and emergency. We need to hit edit interceptor. Then we're going to base the urgent out of the normal. So I'm going to open the normal option or answer and then just modify it here to call it urgent and in the user prompt I'm going to have the urgent explanation as well finally on the target URL I'm going to type urgent because it's going to be the new type value to be populated on the field and I'm going to make this the third option with a 250 order number. Then I'm going to hit insert. Now I have four options, normal change, standard change, urgent change, and emergency change. If I go again to create new, the interceptor, I will see the change reflected. Now we have the third option, which is urgent. We have completed the first item of our list, which was to add the new answer in the change interceptor. The next is to add the new change type urgent in the type field. To do this, I'm going to open any existing change record. I'm going to go to type and show choice list. So I have just three types, standard, normal, and emergency. I'm going to grab the emergency record and just make an insert by changing the values. So I'm going to call it urgent. And here as well, I'm going to call it urgent. And then this is going to be uh, the last option. I'm going to do an insert. And now I have those four values in the type field for the change request form. Now I've completed the second item on the list. The third item is to create a custom chain request state model. And this has to do with a script includes. Let's take a look. I'm going to type script include. Open the system definition script includes. Here we need to look for those script includes for change model. So we're going to type chain request state model. And we are going to leverage the chain request state model SNC normal. So this is going to be our baseline to create our model. 
So we are going to need to create a new script include. I'm going to copy the, the name, paste it in here. First thing I need to modify, this is ServiceNow company. So I'm going to say my corp and then urgent. Then I'm going to grab the entire script and paste it. Of course, just make sure that you change the class to what we are just building. Okay. So now we created this base class, MyCorp Urgent, based out of the normal, out of the box coming from ServiceNow. Now we're going back to Scrib Includes, Chain Request Model. And now we need to copy the model that we have for normal. Make it urgent. Urgent. And so the same here for this given class. So we're going to do an insert. And now we have our two classes, my curb urgent and state model urgent. Our third item in the list has been completed, the chain request state model. Now we need to add this urgent change in the chain request state handler. So in order to open the handler, we're going to type chain request state handler. We're going to open the out of the box chain request state handler. And here we need to modify the script of this class, of this script include. First thing we need to do is to add the new urgent type. So new change request type, change request handler dot urgent equals urgent string. The next thing to do is to override one of the functions for this class which is reset model so what we are doing with this reset model function is to override the out of the box function and basically what we're asking is to check the type of change whether is normal standard or emergency it would follow the out-of-the-box model that comes from ServiceNow. However, if the change type is urgent, then we are going to use our model for urgent that we just created earlier. I'm going to save the changes. And now we have completed our four item on the list. The last thing to do is to copy or clone the normal chain request workflow in order to create our urgent workflow. So now I'm going to type workflow and we are going to open the workflow editor. Search by chain request table. And we see here two workflows that uh, we, we need to clone. One is the change request normal and the change request normal change tasks. First let's open the change request normal. I'm going to select 
copy change request urgent hit OK this will clone the workflow and it will check out the workflow to make modifications now we're not done yet we need to modify the properties of this workflow specifically when what would be those conditions to trigger this workflow and because this is a new type we need to select the appropriate type which is urgent and notice that we have a sub workflow being called in this particular workflow the chain request normal change tasks so now what we need to do is to open the normal change task workflows and copy urgent change tasks all right now what I'm gonna do is to publish this workflow it's done and now I'll head back to chain request urgent workflow in order to modify it and actually delete this workflow I hit, I say yeah okay and then we just need to drag urgent change tasks into this workflow we hit submit and now we have included the chain request urgent change tasks and now finally we can publish this new workflow and that's it now we can go to change click and create new click urgent we'll see the type now is urgent so let's call it this is a test let's save it let me scroll down to show workflow in the related links click on this one and now we see that the chain request urgent workflow has been triggered for the new chain request urgent that we just added in the platform and now we have completed all the items in this list to include the new urgent type for the chain request hope you enjoy it and thanks for watching